Have you been trying to work out the proper and safe way to lift a plastic water tank to the roof of your house or some other unwieldy object up multiple floors? Then this video is for you. Hi, welcome. In this video, I'll be covering everything you'll need to know to get set up with uh, being able to lift various types of domestic loads that you might have around your house. In this specific instance, we'll cover how to lift uh, an overhead plastic water tank. The setup itself is not limited to just this tank. You could use this to lift any other furniture or any other unwieldy or moderately large load that you would have trouble carrying up flights of stairs. To begin with, we'll start with all the components involved, the standard parts and equipment that will be part of the rig. We'll then move on to how to get the rig set up. Finally, we'll end with the actual recording of when I use this setup to raise my plastic overhead water tank to the roof of my house. To get started, this is the custom boom hoist that I built with several pieces of angle bar. This holds the rest of your lifting rig up and over the edge of a perimeter wall or railing. Attached to the front of the boom is a bow shackle. Moving along, next uh, we'll need three of these carabiners or carabiners or also referred to as snap hooks. I'll be using two pulleys, two single sheave pulleys. This is a hook that will be uh, picking up the load. This is the rope that I'll be using. These are polyester webbing slings. They come with uh, two closed loops at its ends. I'll be using two of them since uh, each of these is uh, three meters long and uh, my load that I'll be lifting is larger than uh, three meters in its circumference. This is another snap hook that I'll be using to bring the two ends of the sling together. That's the boom with the D shackle already on there. So this is the setup that will be necessary at the top. There's a hook attached to a pulley via a carabiner and uh, one end of that will be uh, passing through the shave of the pulley and coming back up to the top of the boom, crane boom. It will be hooked on to a D shackle or rather the uh, bow shackle using another carabiner. From the bow shackle uh, there will be another pulley hanging off through which the other end of the lift line will be passing through the pulley sheave. This will be the line that will be used to lift the load. With this you get a mechanical advantage of 2 is to 1. So if your load is uh, 100 kilograms you'll only need to apply a force of 50 kilograms to lift the load. If you have a large load and uh, the length of your polyester webbing is not sufficient, you can combine them in this way. This is one way to do it. You can uh, loop one webbing through the other and uh, loop it around a few times. Get it to a sort of a, a choker type of a pitch and you can attach the hook to this end when you're lifting it or lowering it. 
This way the, the load will not slip out. Now for the footage of the hoist in action. You can see it being used to lift a water tank. After getting all the setup at the top secured, at the bottom, the slings are checked to make sure they're hitched properly around the center of gravity of the load, such that it doesn't tip to either side while being raised. It would be ideal to have at least one other person helping you on the task. Here the tank is being stabilized with the tank tagline from the ground level. Something that's highly recommended so as to prevent the load from swinging while being raised. You might also be well advised to have someone help you bring the load up and over the edge of the wall or railing that your hoist is mounted onto. With that we've got the job done if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them below if you found any of the information useful please like it and share it with anyone else who might find it useful as well also please subscribe to the channel as you will be in the loop on my other videos that are coming up this is uh, the first of this series of domestic lifts the next video will include the build process of the boom hoist so if you'd like to build one for yourself similar to the specifications I've built mine with you can catch that in the next video